Hello, Potato. As you can see, once again, on the table is the Nespresso Virtuo Next. I've done a couple of videos on this already, the one where we opened it, and the one where I solved my issues of both being cheap and not wanting to be environmentally wasteful uh, using this machine. And of course, if you're not familiar with the Nespresso Virtuo, it is a sequel to the original Nespresso Espresso Maker. And like I uh, like Korig's, it uses a pod system. However, the pods for these ones are like little, little disc things like this. This is a, oops, this is a single shot of espresso. If you're not familiar, basically you put it in there, you put it down, you press the button and it makes you a nice little espresso. But the reason we wanted the Virtuo as opposed to the original Nespresso is because this can do different sizes. And so we, of course, have done normal espressos. We have done double espressos, which are, you know, a little bigger. These are, they say on them, I think, um, 2.7 ounces. That's where our original one is a mere 1.35. So double the size for, you know, kind of double the amount of coffee. And are these, these ones here, perfect for a, a mocha or a latte, if you ask me. I like a two shots in my drinks. Well, what it's probably been used for most is just coffee. And that's the thing that really sets it apart from the original Nespresso line is that you can get these coffee pods. They are 7.77 ounces, which is kind of, you know, your standard small cup of coffee. And thanks to our Benfuchin, Benfuchin, I'm not being sponsored by them. I don't need to say the name correctly, but their reusable silicone lids. I have made this my everyday coffee maker. I make my, uh, myself a cup of coffee in the morning with breakfast. The problem is that this makes, you know, a little less than eight ounces of coffee. And that, that's fine if you're using like a, a normal sized coffee cup. I, however, use uh, this. This is my just everyday morning cup of coffee. You can actually like, see the stains from the coffee right there because it never comes clean because it's, I think, I think this came with something like a gift basket thing or something. I don't know, but uh, it, it's, it is my everyday mug. And it unfortunately holds quite a bit more than 7.7 .7 ounces. So I have been left with the, uh, the issue of what to do about that. I mean, I don't want to pack two pods. I mean, I could, I could pack a second one while I'm the first one's making, but uh, I've wanted something bigger. And one of the things that I saw when we picked this up is it has one size it did not come with pods for. It came with a sampler set. If you go back, go back and watch the video if you really are that interested in it. But it came with a sampler set of all the sizes, all these sizes, including one called Grand Lunga, which I haven't tried because I don't, so I don't, I can't speak to that one. But uh, all these sizes, it did not come with the carafe size. They're supposed to be a size that makes an entire carafe's worth of coffee. So bigger than this. And one thing about the Nespresso Virtuo is that it is not easy to find pods for it in the shops. Um, lots of places sell the equipment. Uh, you can get these at like Best Buy and Bed Bath and & Beyond and Sur La Table and William Sonoma and Target, but not a lot of places sell the coffee for them. Target does sell some of the Starbucks pods. But that's about it. Uh, if you want the actual Nespresso ones, you need to kind of go through either Nespresso.com or actually Amazon has them for reasonable prices. But even Amazon doesn't have the carafe size. But if you remember from that first video, I mentioned that there was a coupon in the box for like $35 off your first purchase from Nespresso.com. So we made a purchase from Nespresso.com. Com. We purchased, let's call something like the Nespresso Virtuo Cara pour, pour Over Style. Pour Over Style. I'm, I'll remember the words here. You think I would edit this out, but I'm not going to. Uh, the Nespresso Virtuo Pour Over Style Carafe. And that is what's in this box. So when you order that Carafe Starter Kit, you get... I'll get you one of these each time you order anything of a certain amount from Nespresso.com. It's just a little sample thing of two Bianco Doppio for milk. Little espresso pods. Dunno. 
unfamiliar, but hey, it came with the purchase, so why not? But more importantly, it came with, no, although this isn't the more important, it came with a little brochure. Slow down, savor the moment. These are our instructions. Yeah, these are our instructions. So we'll actually need these. One, place the craft under the Virtuo next. Two, insert the pour over style capsule. Three, press the button. Four, stir crema to release the coffee's aromas. Five, put the lid on the craft accessory to preserve heat of the coffee. Pour coffee into your favorite cup. Well, we got the cup there. Although we have this cup too. Probably we'll use this one just so we can kind of see the coffee all the way. I imagine yeah, the craft will be able to see through as well. Insider tip, add milk for an impeccably smooth and indulgent taste. But yeah, this is supposed to have the bigger size. Does it say on here how, how much bigger? I think it's supposed to be like two to three times the size of the coffee pod. But no, let's, let's, let's finish unpacking it. So also in the starter kit, you get two sleeves of carafe. Now this is the important thing, because with our reusable silicone lids, once I've made one of these, I can make as many as I want with whatever coffees I want. Because really, I, I have been doing that. If you didn't watch the the Ben Fuchen, Ben Fuchen, Ben Fuchen, ben F I, I don't know, the silicone lid video, uh, this has been my, my daily coffee now. And I've been reusing those pods pretty consistently. And I haven't had any issues with them breaking down. The lids work perfectly. I have had issues with overstuffing the pod and causing it to uh, dump coffee into the uh, the waste reservoir there, but that's what that waste reservoir is for, right? But other than that, it has worked pretty much spot on perfectly as long as I don't overpack it. So yeah, we have two sleeves of the craft pour over style. We have mild and I guess regular. Well, I think we'll be doing regular, but see this. So, okay, it's so 18 fluid ounces. So this is 7.77. .77. So it's not quite three of these. I guess why it says two to three cups. It depends on how big your cup is. If your cup is this size. Actually, I think this probably would be only about two because I think I don't think it filled it up. So that's fine. I mean, that's probably more than enough for the morning if I can do one of these. So let's put those off to the side because there is also with the carafe style pour over starter set. There should be a pour over style carafe. There we go. And otherwise, there's just bits of paper. We don't need bits of paper. We have lots of bits of paper in here. So here is our Virtuo Collection Constantine Gersik Design Virtuo Carafe Set. So yeah, it looks kind of like the... Uh... Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, I guess we're supposed to put the spout towards there. So I guess we're going to take this off. Let's, let's get rid of that. We aren't going to need that for today's video. So... Yeah, it does look an awful lot like I have like a Bodum Chemex style pour over, but it's actually it's a Bodum brand, but it's like it's like those Chemex pour overs. If you do pour over coffee, you know what that means. And if you don't, you don't care. If you don't, you've probably stopped watching by now. So in here we have one carafe. Oh, that's English. One lid, one stirrer specially designed for an espresso virtuo carafe pour over style coffee supplied without capsule. So yes, if you found this in a store somewhere, I guess they're in espresso boutiques. Uh, we've seen reference to that on the website, but they don't appear to be any in California at all. Like not even like Los Angeles or San Francisco. So of course, naturally, as you have to have on overpriced items, this is uh, got a sleeve on it for no real reason. But you know, things that cost more than they really should usually do. And then inside we should have Nothing's jingling around, so I think we're I think we're not broken here. Yep, we're good. Got our carafe. I guess that is our stir. It is a little silicone. It's like metal. It's not plastic something in there. It's it's not it's not super floppy, but it has flex. And okay, we do have we have the actual instructions that we know nobody ever reads, which is why they put the little pamphlet in there. Lid. So yeah, this is actually uh, just like the uh, Bodum one, and that even has this little collar that can be taken off for washing. It's not as maybe as uh, exactly the same way the collar works on that one, but it is. It is. And I'm actually going to leave that off because I need to go wash these. Because that actually is our next step. Uh, I am putting food in this. 
that I intend to put in my mouth and in my body. And uh, therefore, given that I have to take this out of the box, I will need to wash it. Let's take a look at it real quick though. So it looks like it's uh, unlike our Bodum carafe, our actual pour over carafe. This is actually um, double walled. So kind of like our Bodum glasses here. And because our, our normal, our Bodum pour over Chemex style pour over rig does not have a double wall. I actually have to put like a teapot cozy on it to keep the coffee from cooling off too fast. So this actually should help it stay warm longer. And that, and this should be more than enough. Oh, I don't know, maybe not. I, I suppose if I was a clear thinker, I would have measured to see how much liquid this actually holds, but I didn't do that. And now things are falling over. Oh, well, leave it there. So yeah, uh, this looks fine. All silicone and glass. Doesn't feel super thin, which is nice. I mean, not super thick either, but I don't I don't feel like I'm gonna go, ooh, that's, that feels thin. That's the bottom. I don't feel like I'm gonna break it just by uh, holding it too, too firmly. So uh, let's take our Constantine Gersic, Gersic? Constantine Gersic, I'm gonna go with Gersic. It's probably wrong. Sorry, Constantine. Or the Constantine. I think, it's, I think it's Constantine if there's an E on the end, right? And it's Constantine if there's not. I don't know. Anyways, I've probably mur murdered your name. I don't even know if you're Mr. or Mrs. Uh, sentient Constantine Gerchik. Um, so I apologize for that, but still, the design is nice. So I guess we're going to fit that under just like that. I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess if I did this, it would just pour coffee all over my table. So this is, this is the only way to do the carafe, is with the spout under the pour spout. So yeah, let me go wash this stuff up. Uh, I already have a fresh tank of water in the back of the Nespresso here. I feel like this is probably going to take up most of it, and um, we will try out some carafe pour over style Nespresso Virtuo coffee. So I will be back in a minute. All right, so I've given everything a good wash and it should be ready to use now. We've got our stir. Let's uh, change the angle on this just a little bit. I feel like it's nice and warmed up. So let's, uh, so we have the, I'm not, I'm not gonna do mild. We're gonna do the normal craft brew preparation artisanale. Nespresso exclusively for use with the Virtuo Next. Well, that is what we have, is the Virtuo Next. So, as you can see, the pod for that is much bigger. If we put any of these in our little pod drawer, of course, of course we are those people who've got the, uh, the little pod drawer to put the machine on and keep pods under. Because even though I use predominantly, I, I reuse pods, we do, you know, those occasionally you don't want to go through all the trouble of, uh, of, of, of filling a pod when you just wanna make a quick cup, you just grab one out of the drawer. So, um, and of course these are, these can be fully recyclable. Apparently you can actually order those recycling bags that came with it uh, for no extra charge. So that's kind of cool, but we've been, we've been reusing them. The, uh, the garden has been enjoying the coffee grounds out of these and it's all been good. So it said, where do instructions go? I put them over here. I put them under everything cause that's, that's what smart people do. All right. So, one, place the craft under the Virtuo Next. Okay, we've got that. I think we're good there. Two, insert the carafe pour over style capsule into your machine. All right. Yeah, these are like puffed out. I wonder if, you know, cause like on like olive oil and stuff, they put like inert gases in them to keep them from going off uh, while they're on the shelf. I wonder if these if are like puffed, are puffed up because of that. I wonder what, is, what I'm releasing when I puncture these. Is it just air or is there something else that helps to preserve the coffee? Now, as I close this, we should hear a rather loud pop. There it was. Lock that into place. And it is flashing, indicating it's still warming up. So I guess it was warmed up probably before from when I first plugged it in. And now, oh, okay, we've got a solid green light. Solid green light, solid white light. I, I could tell you it's purple. I don't think you can even see it on the camera, but it's white. So we've got the pod in and we press the button and it should take about three minutes, it says, to brew our coffee. So I will probably fast forward through a lot of that unless something particularly interesting happens. But let's at least watch the beginning and see 
what starts to come out. Should be should be a fair amount of crema first. That's kind of what it usually does, which is why we have this. And then a, a good long pour of coffee. Well, the crema looks nice. It's kind of fun to watch it pour that way. Although I think really in my daily, I would probably just put this under it, assuming it all actually fits there. Okay, so we're kind of getting down, the, the, the speed's changing, and we're getting down to like the serious business of just brewing our coffee. So let's, uh, let's just, I guess, watch that in fast forward, unless again, something interesting happens. All right, it is done. So you've left a, an interesting little pattern of bubbles here on the side. I am gonna put the little drip tray back on there because I know as soon as I move the craft, it's gonna drip. So there we go. So yeah, I mean, that's, I did notice that towards the end of the pour, it was getting a um, pretty weak looking. So I guess if you wanted there, wanted less coffee, and want it to be really strong, you could cut it off because you can always stop it at any time by pressing the button to turn it back off. So that is something you could do if you wanted it to be stronger and less of it. Like if I wanted to to just brew it into this and just fill this cup up, cup up, cup up, cup up, this cup up, I could always uh, just abort it in the middle and just have this as full as I wanted it, but stronger. So next we are to stir in the crema. This is the thing that I'm not super used to doing. It's kind of odd for me to do with my morning coffee. Because, you know, normally if you do drip coffee or iced coffee, you don't have crema. You have crema when you make espresso. But you can actually kind of see it sort of being worked in here. I'm probably not doing it right. There's probably a method. I feel like folding is the best because I, I feel like I'm otherwise just kind of destroying the bubbles. But all right. I'll tell you, first of all, it smells wonderful in here. This is probably one of the nicer smelling things I've ever made in the void space. Now we put our lid on. Is there? Nope, that is a piece of cat hair. I thought perhaps there was like an indent there, but no. It's just hair, because by cleaning it, I've probably made it dirtier. And there we go. Have one little carafe of coffee, which I do... I do think if it if it wouldn't actually fit in there, it would be very close. But again, I, if I was smart, I would have measured things out, and we would know. So now, just to pour myself a cup of coffee. It looks as dark as uh, the other stuff from the Virtuo has been. This is probably about the size you want if you want to make three cups out of there. Smells nice and dark and rich. This again is the, is just the normal carafe pour over pod, not the mild one. So uh, let's give it a sip. Well, yeah, that is coffee. I'm not going to go with one of those notes of leather and aluminium and stuff. What does it say? Does it say on it? Are there are there taste flavor notes on here? I kind of wish these were more popular here in the US. Uh, would be a little easier to get. No, there's no like this should taste of rutabaga and aged leather. Oh wait, no, probably this here. Um, why we love virtual carafe pour over style coffee like none other in that range, in the ranges, there's a range? I need to look through the pods and see what other pods they make on there. Colombian Arabicas comes pour over style in your carafe ready for sharing the roasted and smoky notes hidden beneath the delicate crown of its crema. Stir well before serving. I feel like I stirred it pretty well. Now, of course, normally I would add a little, little like sweetener and lightener to this. I don't normally drink coffee black. Yeah, that's just good, rich coffee. 
It used about half the water in the tank. I kind of thought it would use more, but I'm glad I filled it up all the way just to be safe. So I could brew like two of these carafes without needing, well, before needing to refill the water tank. But yeah, it's nice, the coffee's nice. I, I love that I can now brew a larger batch. And even packing it, even packing the pod, if I don't, you know, just use the ones that I've bought here, I think it will still be faster than drip brewing a, well, half a pot of coffee. This is probably about, probably about half a pot of what my normal drip brewer would make. But yes, I, I am pleased. It is exactly what I was hoping for. Now I have the freedom to make whatever coffee I want in the carafe size. And I think the only other thing I would like to get for this is there is a, a device called like the, the barista, like barista recipe assistance like that. It's, it's basically, it's kind of like the Arachino, but on steroids, it can melt chocolate. It has like pre-built recipes. You can just put stuff in and it'll mix it up properly. I would love to get one of those, but they're like as much as the machine is. So that's probably a thing for down the road. Unless Costco gets one of those in for half off, in which case, you know, count me in. But yeah, this, this is a lovely coffee break accessory. I will have to experiment a little bit with uh, just making it straight into the cup. But yes, yeah, so this is this is exactly what I was hoping for. Is like what I wanted. The Nespresso is now going to probably for the foreseeable future be my go-to coffee maker. And uh, if, if you'd like to sponsor me and send me some free stuff, Nespresso, I wouldn't say no. But I think I'll wrap this up. We have some coffee to drink now. And I mean, I suppose if I was one of those thorough channels, I would like take set timers and take measurements and see how long this keeps it hot. But it's 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 coffee. It's not going to last that long. It's going to get drunk. This the the carafe pour over style from Nespresso is exactly what I hoped it would be. And I hope you found this at all interesting or entertaining. If you did, go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Now I have some coffee to drink, so I will see you in the next video.